The Indian civilization can be called a land of mysteries. Some were solved, some remain unsolved to this day. In this series, we will explore such mysteries that remain unsolved despite the best human efforts. This is the Top 10 Unsolved Mysteries of India, Part 1. The Saraswati River The origin of the Saraswati River, a well-known waterway mentioned in the Rig Veda, has puzzled scholars and historians for ages. According to ancient texts, the river originated in the Himalayas, near present-day Allahabad. Then flowed through present-day northern India, finally merging with the Arabian Sea or run of Kutch. The exact timeline of the existence of the Saraswati River is uncertain, as its presence is closely tied to historical stories and myths. The Ghaggar Hakra River, often identified as the ruins of Saraswati, can be traced in the region, but its status as the original river is debated. While the mystery surrounding the Saraswati River persists, it continues to symbolize the spiritual and cultural heritage of ancient India in the citizens' minds. The Jalgaum Scandal 1994 The Jalgaum scandal involved allegations of child trafficking and prostitution rings involving politicians. The scandal came to light in the early 1990s in Jalgaum, Maharashtra, when several prominent individuals, including politicians and bureaucrats, were accused of exploiting their positions to engage in sexual misconduct with women who requested jobs or favors. Even after arrests, cases of tampering of evidence and political interference came to light. So despite public outcry and media attention at the time, convictions and conclusive legal outcomes were limited, thus leaving many questions unanswered. The Jodhpur Boom, 2012 On 18 December, 2012, Around 3 a.m., when every corner of Jodhpur, Rajasthan slept soundly, a resounding boom resonated through the air, shaking windows and waking people up from their slumber. The concerned residents investigated about it, but it was quickly discovered that no planes had flown over the region and no explosions had occurred. Social media platforms burst with frantic chatter, as witnesses from various parts of the city reported their experiences. Theories about the origin of sound have ranged from meteorites and supersonic planes to secret and failed acoustic experiments. Authorities, however, could not confirm the cause, further deepening the mystery. The Jodhpur boom sound has become a modern urban legend, leaving an unforgettable mark on the city's collective memory. The Indus Valley Civilization Script The script of the ancient Indus Valley Civilization dating back to around 3300 to 1300 BCE, remains undeciphered. Discovered in the early 20th century at sites like Mohenjo-daro and Harappa, the script is complex and has limited samples. This script consists of symbols that are so different, no one has been able to compare it to other existing languages or find a language descended from it. With too few inscriptions for robust analysis, the script's purpose and origins remain uncertain. The absence of a Rosetta Stone equivalent and a lost civilization contribute to the challenge. Despite efforts using computational analysis and comparative linguistics, the Indus script remains an unsolved linguistic puzzle. The Lost City of Dwarka In Hindu mythology, Dwarka is considered the glorious kingdom of Lord Krishna, described in the Mahabharata. The city is said to have been submerged in the sea after the passing of Lord Krishna. The ancient Dwarka existed long before 3,500 years ago in the western Indian state of Gujarat, near the Arabian coast. Until recently the presence of Dwarka was a matter of folklore, but recent underwater archaeological finds reveal city-like submerged structures, pottery and other artifacts near the coast of present-day Dwarka. However, the results are not without controversy. Some scholars remain skeptical, questioning the age of the structures and their direct connection to the legendary Dwarka. The mystery of the lost city of Dwarka continues to intrigue archaeologists and historians. The Sightings of Ashwatthama According to ancient Hindu mythology, there are seven Chiranjivi or immortals that roam this world. Not surprisingly, from time to time, there have been reports of sightings of these immortals all over India. However, the sightings of Ashwatthama originating from the Mahabharata, which occurred some 5,000 years ago, are the most mysterious and interesting ones. The most notable story is said to be from the early 1200s, 
when King of Ajmer, Prithviraj Chauhan claimed in his book that after his last battle, he met an old man with a large scar on his forehead, who claimed that he is Ashwatthama. Another story dates back to the late 14th century in Karnataka, where it is believed that Ashwatthama himself told the accounts of the Mahabharata to a poor Brahman writer, pen named Kumara Vyasa, who wrote them down in the form of a book, which is now known as the Kumara Vyasa Bharata. The legend of Ashwatthama goes like, if you see a man with a diamond scar on his forehead, that is probably Ashwatthama himself. Village of Twins, Kerala There is a village in Kerala known as Kodhini. It is said that the village experiences an abnormal amount of twins born. According to estimates, there are at least 400 pairs of twins in the village that has a population of 2,000 families. While the national average of twin births is not more than 9 in 1,000 births, in Kodhini, the number is as high as 45 in 1,000 births. Every year the estimate of the twins increases and no one knows the reason behind this. This phenomenon has attracted attention due to its uniqueness. Medical professionals and researchers have conducted studies to understand its origins. Genetic, dietary, and environmental factors are being investigated as possible causes. However, despite various studies, the exact reasons remain complex and sophisticated, and no definitive explanation has yet been found. Ashoka's Nine Unknown Men Around 270 BC, the Mauryan Emperor Ashoka formed the Nine Unknown Men, a secret club dedicated to the preservation and development of the Nine Books of Secret Knowledge. The subjects Ashoka taught included microbiology, propaganda, physiology, sociology, alchemy and more. Only these nine men were allowed to study and develop scientific theories and technologies because Ashoka was afraid that if ordinary men were given this knowledge, they would use it for destruction. Not only do they develop this knowledge further, but if one in nine is unable to perform the job due to death, illness, or a desire to resign, the responsibility is transferred to a carefully selected successor. The popular term, Nine Unknown Men, was coined by Telbot Mundi, who published a book based on Ashoka's story in 1923. Although there is no concrete historical evidence confirming the existence or activities of the Nine Unknowns, the concept has captured the imagination and inspired various novels. The Disappearance of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose had an outstanding character and commitment to Indian independence which inspired many Indians and made him a revered figure and an icon in Indian history. However, his disappearance remains a mystery. Bose was reportedly killed in a plane crash on 18th August, 1945, while trying to escape from then-Japanese-occupied Taiwan. No photograph of the injured or his dead body was taken, nor was his death certificate issued. A lack of concrete evidence and conflicting reports have led to numerous theories as to what really happened to Bose. Some believed he survived the crash, went into hiding and acquired a new identity to continue his fight for freedom. Over the years, there were claims of sightings of Netaji in various parts of the world. These alleged sightings have ranged from India to Russia, Japan, and even parts of Southeast Asia. Despite exhaustive investigations, documents, and testimonies, the truth remains elusive. Did Bose orchestrate a daring escape? Or did he perish in the fire of that fateful flight? Conflicting narratives and lack of concrete evidence have made his story a timeless mystery. Before moving on to the last entry, thank you for watching this video till now. Please subscribe to our channel, All About India. We make videos that explore India and bring you the most interesting information and stories available around the country. The Roop Kun Lake Skeletons In the winter of 1942, British rangers found hundreds of bones and skulls on the shores of Lake Roop Kun, high in the Himalayas. This skeleton lake is located at an altitude of 5,029 meters. Along with these skeletons, wooden artifacts, iron spearheads, Leather slippers and rings were also found once the ice melted away. These skeletons left several question marks. According to local legend, the king of Kanauj, his pregnant wife and his party, died in a severe hailstorm while on a pilgrimage to the Nanda Devi Shrine, near Roop Kund Lake, 
making these skeletons their remains. Eventually, after further investigation, scientists denied the rumors and concluded that the skeletons were of pilgrims and locals of this region, as the bodies dated around 850 AD. Even after several researches the enigma persisted because a smaller group of skeletons showed Central Asian features and were presumed to be more recent. Were these victims part of a religious or cultural procession, caught unaware by a Himalayan tempest? Or did they succumb in a battle lost to history? We just don't know yet. Stay tuned for our next video. Goodbye.